Welcome back to the Fever, everybody, for this week's film session. Today, we're at the Field House at Lubbock High School, and Coach Mike Speck will allow us uh, to come in and, and look at a little film. Coach, appreciate you letting us in today. You bet, George. Anything for you. Yeah. Coach, talk about, I mean, you know, a, uh, a tough game last week against Central. Had, had the chance to win, but I think a lot of positives. The offense got going. The defense played well. So a lot of positives to really kind of take for these last couple weeks of the season. Yeah, real pleased with the way the kids played <laughs> last week. I mean, the, you know, the effort was great. You had some success running the offense, both throwing the ball and running the ball. And, you know, it's all coming together. Probably not as soon as we'd like, but things are going real well right now. Got to be got to be happy that, you know, now there's a little bit of confidence that they know they can move the football, they can get it in the end zone, and, and they can stop some teams. And, and really, I mean, you've got two games, you know, now with your, your two big rivals that, you know, focus is not going to be the problem. So these next two weeks really are pretty big for you guys. Right, and that's where the focus right now of ours is just execution, making sure that we don't stub ourselves in the toe. You know, early in the season, it really wasn't lack of confidence in the offense or lack of execution. It was a fumble here. Here, mm -hmm. uh, a penalty here, something that killed a drive. You know, we never regained our momentum. Well, talk about, I mean, we've got a, a play queued up here against uh, Central last week, and, and we've talked about how the offense is struggling in the end zone. You know, on, on Friday, you guys got it in the end zone pretty regularly, and with one of your bread and butter plays, kind of take us through it here a little bit. Right, and this is, this is uh, I guess we'd say the base to our offense, we're either going to go pitch weak or pitch strong, one or the other, and it's going to be dictated by what the defense does. You know, one of the things kids grow up in our system doing at the junior highs is learning the wing tee because, you know, you see a lot of spread out of us, but we also have to tweak the offense mm -hmm. depending upon the talent we have. But in this case right now, we felt like we could line up against these guys and get to the perimeter, you know, just running some of our base plays. In this case here, it's, it's a three-back set. There's Shaquille Johnson lined up in what we call the fullback hole. We got his power back here, a blocking back, which is our tandem back, and then tailback right here. S quarterback's got to make a decision which way to go. It's all in his hands right now, depending upon what the defense gives us. As you look at the front, it's probably hard for you to see on film. It's overshifted this direction, mm -hmm. and they roll up a safety on the back side, which tells us we want to run the play you know, to the weak side where they give us the undershades. So, you know, as you watch the film right here, we get almost everything we want. This five technique here is, is screwed down tight on top of Chris Kobos here, probably our best offensive lineman. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what he's able to do is he's able to hook him. Uh, the, the tailback right here's job is to seal the perimeter. He's either going to block the defensive end or the scraping linebacker, and I believe he gets the scraping linebacker here. Tandem back is going to work up, and he should be able to chop that inverted or that quarter safety that's rolled up tight there. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we even give the quarterback an assignment. He's supposed to roll up, find daylight, and go block the play side safety. Shaq's job, he's got two goes. He can either take it outside. If we get the perimeter sealed, if we don't get the perimeter sealed, he's got a chance to turn it up because we get a lot of people versus our pitch sweep that just start to skate real fast where it really opens up an inside hole. So mm -hmm. in this case right here, you'll see we get everybody down on the perimeter. Kobos does a great job blocking the five technique here. You know, it's a pretty good job on the backside getting people down, but you're going to see a lot of bodies on the ground and you know in our case when we're not big kids you know we got to do a lot of that full zone stuff mm -hmm. get them down on the ground you know and make positive yardage and in this case Shaq does a great job of staying in bounds and uh, scoring our first touchdown on our first drive. Yeah, take us through because we're going to see him kind of, you know, he's, he's going to get the corner, you're going to get the seal, and, and it's going to work, you know, just like it should. should right exactly. There. I think right now, and this is where we've got a lot of enough variety out of this set with a lot of lead involved, a lot of pitch that direction. We've even run the trap, and then we have bootleg both ways, and we have three-step passing game that this guy's starting to play the lead, and it may be a tendency that his coach has given him, but instead of getting ready to play full flow scrape on the, on the situation, it allows us our guard gets a piece of him which slows him down then you're going to see oh he actually gets to him on that case right there Whiteout does a good job gets the corner down you know as you see the the, the tandem back make a turn mm -hmm. right there he's going to hit block that safety get him on the ground and all we have is green grass and six points and six points and i tell you what if if uh, if Lubbock High can continue to keep, keep keep that kind of offense going and have some success with it these next two weeks i mean you got you've got you're still in the playoff chase so you know getting that kind of success is going to be key for you guys and that's what it's all about we just need to make sure consistency and that we execute and you know we're not going to have to worry about motivation these two games take care of themselves it's going to be a good couple weeks and Lubbock High is going to be right there in the mix that's it for this week's film session. Coach, appreciate you listening. Hey, George, thanks for coming. Thanks a lot. When we come back, we'll have this week's games, and I'll run down my picks right here on the Fever. <laughs>